Welcome to day seven. If I seem like unwell and like out of it, I'm having like a really bad kidney stone day and took one of my strong pain medicines so that I don't have to be in the hospital. So here we are. And I might try to pre-film some stuff today just so that I don't have to come down here every single day and I can have a break don't think that like I should be resting and like this is making me do stuff when I don't feel good. One of the best things I have found when I'm like dying like this is to literally do something to distract myself. So we're gonna do this today. So I'm towards the back of my little pathway. I got that put back up there because I was talking to my parents and I was like, can we like do something about this? It's so dark in this corner. I'm going to try to shove some boxes slash break down some boxes. Shh, don't tell my dad. And um, try to make myself some more room because originally my thought before I started this whole thing was to put my toy chest thing back here. And couldn't because of like all of this. So anyway, today we're gonna break down some boxes, try to make ourselves some more room so we can like make some actual progress and spread out a little bit more. That's the plan. Is this like a mattress back here? Like, don't ask me. This isn't my junk. You don't know how terrified I am that there's gonna be like mice. If there's like bigger boxes, I think I'll break down the bigger boxes. I brought scissors. But if they're like smaller, I'll probably just try to like throw them up there like look it's like to the ceiling is that not like a fire hazard like i don't know it's not my problem anyway here we go Maybe I'll work on like this area right here. Pray for me that this mattress doesn't like fall down and kill me. <laughs> Maybe I actually won't have to break any of these down. Maybe I'll just be able to like shove them. Like we're making progress even though it probably looks exactly the same as when I started I just don't know how like wide of a spot I need I don't know I'll try to shove it back a little bit more but literally so terrified there's gonna be mice in here like <laughs> so scared I feel like maybe let's try See if I can get that thing back here. This is gonna be really tricky. Let me put you back in your normal spot. And then I'm gonna take everything out of the toy chest thing so that it's lighter. Hopefully I don't die. Whoa. And I got my Play-Doh box. I literally don't have anywhere to put this stuff. Oh yeah, and then <laughs> the art set that I still gotta do something with. Like what is the best way to even do this? I feel like there is really no best way. Take out the dividers. So we don't have those moving around. There's the furnace. Makes an appearance in every video. Put the lid back there. Hopefully, 
to like shield it from boxes falling on it. I wonder if I could shove my trampoline back there too. Part of the pool table just fell off. What even? It's gonna live here now. Because I cannot shove that however it needs to go. I'm gonna try to bring my trampoline over there and just see what happens. Show you guys a better view. You ready for this? So we got <laughs> the bin <laughs> and then the trampoline. And you know what? I feel like that is the best I could have possibly done with this whole thing. Because like look how out of the way that is now. The trampoline was just taking up so much space and it was such like an awkward thing. Literally, this was my plan for this whole video today, just to like, settle that. And then, I can take the dividers. If any of you have any idea what I should put in the bin, in the toy bin, let me know. Because, it's a great storage thing, but like, I don't know what to put in there. Because everything's mostly boxes, like, maybe books? Maybe I'll start stacking like all my books in there or something. Cause I could kind of like, okay. I could kind of segregate them like in the little sections. And like, I don't even know what books I have. Or maybe like also like binders and stuff and like folders and whatever. Maybe like one section, kids books. Another section, everything else books. <laughs> and then, last section because there's three areas maybe like folders and binders and probably not notebooks because i think those are in my closet maybe that's how we'll do it because here's the thing i want to go through all my books at once and do that as a whole thing as a whole category but i can't just put boxes of books on the floor in case my basement floods again so i don't want them to get ruined so if i put them in here that would probably fit them all and it would be protected if the basement floods because it's plastic. So, maybe we'll make that our plan of action. Yeah, let's go with that. So for now, let me put the boxes of books that I do have in there. I'll unpack them in a different video, but let me just like get the books to that area. This book I'm bringing upstairs with me though because I've been into origami randomly lately. And I found this and I was like, ooh, fun. I think this is books, this whole thing. Oh, it's so heavy. Why are books so heavy? Okay, I took out one of the dividers for the moment. And then this is books. And then I think I had some random books. Random books. The only thing is, I feel like I'm gonna Something just moved. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to need like a better light over here. It's dark over here. I think that was just everything settling. I don't think that was like a mouse. Who knows? <laughs> Could be anything. Here's the plan for later tonight because I'm going to film again later tonight after dinner. But this is all I'm going to do for now. So, plan for later today, which will be the video tomorrow will be bring all those boxes from the other end of the basement over to here now that I have room because I took that and put it here and the trampoline perfect so I'll bring those boxes over to here and that might be all I do in that video because that's gonna be a lot of work and they're really heavy so maybe that's what I'll do later tonight depending on if I have more energy than that because I don't know if you can like tell I'm like out of breath, but this um, pain medicine that I'm on makes it really hard to breathe. I don't know why, it's just a side effect. So depending on how I'm feeling later, we might do more. Otherwise, definitely committing to bringing all of those other boxes over here at least. And then that will be everything that I know of. I know there's still more stuff somewhere in this whole basement of mine that I own. But that will be everything that I know of
for the moment. That's down here, that's mine. And then we can start getting categories together and then going through them. For example, books. That might be a good one to do first just because they take up a lot of space. So maybe books. You know what else I could put back here? Like papers for when I go through like 8,000 papers that I have and like cards and notes and whatever else. I think that's a good plan though. We're gonna do that. So thank you guys for watching. That was easier and was faster than I thought it was gonna take, so that's nice. I am going to be terrified for the rest of this whole series that this is going to like come crashing down on me at some point though. Well, hopefully it won't. I kind of secured it behind the mattress or maybe it's a box spring, I don't know. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment down below if you think my idea of doing books down here is good. Because I feel like I have a lot of books, so that's a big area to like put them all. Hopefully they'll all fit. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. And I will see you guys in my next video, which I'm filming tonight, but you're seeing tomorrow. Bye! <laughs>